Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a beautiful box that I received from Esme over at Crafty Me Shop. If you don't know who Esme is, she sells um, beautiful items in her shop and I will leave her information below. Her shop is on Facebook and you can go join the group and check it out. So I received my design team package and I'd like it to share it with you. Oh my goodness, you guys. Check it out. Oh my goodness. You know that it's always so fun to open these gorgeous candy boxes from Esme. So she has, um, she sells these candy boxes in her store. And they're different, you know, they're random, I should say. Look at these gorgeous. Oh, I love these. I have a few of these and I've been hoarding them. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. This is interesting. It's like a applique piece. I wonder if you can iron it or if you could take that off. Anyway, it's got lots of rhinestones and beads, pearls, yummy. Okay, ooh, yum. I love this applique. Oh my gosh, look at how many beads are on there. And the sequins are gorgeous. Aren't they so pretty? Love it. Oh, I love danglies. She calls them dingles. <laughs> I love these. Oh, these are so cute. Love the beads. There's two of these. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. Yummers. Goes there. Oh, little flowers, little flowers throughout. I'll collect them in here. Oh, look at this applique. That's pretty. It's like a almost looks super vintagey. Like a very pale lilac, which I don't usually do a lot with lilac, but maybe I'll need to, huh? <laughs> oh, this is absolutely one of my favorite appliques that she sells. I love these flowers and all the sequins on the embroidery. And there's beads, too. Very pretty over here oh here's another one of these i love these well oh, these are cute i've never seen this flower before it's really adorable Put those over here and then this must hmm something's on this one I'll have to take that off, whatever that is. Looks very vintage. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. These are cute little pink appliques. Very pretty. And look at this one. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. So this has some pretty faceted beads here and lots of beads and sequins over here. So purple is not like my favorite thing, to be honest with you. But those are definitely gorgeous appliques. They're actually a lot lighter than they're coming across on this camera. On the camera, they look almost like a purple, but they're actually a lilac. Oh, this is pretty. No, that is definitely, this is more like a dusty lilac. So that would be something that I would prefer, I think. You know, because I have... I totally have some 
Prima journals I started a while ago and never finished. But how gorgeous would a piece of this applique look on that, you know? Just a little subtle piece on that. And it wouldn't take away from the journal cover. It's kind of pretty, actually. So, yeah, that is a really gorgeous applique. And super long. And then here's a little one. That's so cute. Yeah, see, this goes back to like the more dust, dusty purple. I do like that. It's really pretty. Yummers. And then here's a pink one. Oh, I haven't seen this one before. It's got some pink rhinestones on it. Interesting. And, th and the pink pearls. That's pretty. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. That is so cool. I can't tell what I would use that for. Let me think about that. I <laughs> wonder if I could put that in my flower or something. <laughs> That's cool. I like the um, AB look on them. Okay. Oh, goodness. <gasps> this is one of my favorite trims. Wow. She gave me a whole yard of this, it, it looks like. This is so gorgeous. Now, this has a little bit of purpley pink and some green. and But it's such a neutral piece that it picks up like whatever you're working with. So like if you were working with pink, you could totally do that. And then if you're working with like a taupe color, like a, more of a neutral lace, it looks amazing with that too. Oops. So yes, this is, and you barely need any amount of this to you know offer a punch and then it looks really gorgeous with that purple one that's for sure so it picks up those colors too so that is like absolutely one of my favorite trims that she has okay let's see oh this is beautiful eyelet oh my gosh super pretty and it feels so soft so cute. I love that scalloped. Um, whoops. Let me try to get this over here so you can see everything. All right. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It has a sparkly uh, iridescence to it. And it's so gorgeous. That is one of my favorite trims by her, too. Oh, this is cool. What is this? That's like a ruffle or a drapery, like the bottom of the drape. Isn't that pretty? So I would probably cut that in half and just kind of use this piece separately from this piece, I think. That's how I would use it, though. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is really, really unique. So this has leaves and flowers, lots of pearls and beads. Gorgeous. That is really neat looking. That would look so pretty tea dyed, I feel like. Oh my goodness, yes. I might have to do that. And then, oh, that's pretty. How cute. It has like an iridescent flower on it. And then it has this gorgeous um, insertion type lace with the uh, ribbon on there. And then organza ruffle. That's so cute. Oh, look at that one. I love that. That's so pretty. It's like pink and then... It almost looks like a peachy pink, nude pink. 
Oh, that's cool. That looks kind of vintage to me. Get tea dyed. Gorgeous. Oh, look at this applique. That is really cool. I don't know if it goes like this or like this, but either way, I would just be cutting all these pieces and applying them. Those are gorgeous. There's two of those. Yummers. And it is the palest pink. And then, oh, I love this trim. I have this trim in, um, I think she did her Hocus Pocus on her. She calls it Hocus Pocus when she dyes it because she makes a concoction of all these different herbs and stuff to make it uh, this the special color, which she does a really good job on her dyeing. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this scallop trim. Oh, look at this. Dingles. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. I love this. It looks like she um, dyed this one. Isn't that so pretty? And if you wanted, you could just like hang like a piece of this off of a snippet or whatever and just use it sparingly. That's what I always like to do. Make everything go longer. Oh, that's so cute. Look at what she tied that lace with. That is so gorgeous. And then it's this um, pretty cream lace here. These would be so cute on um, like a tassel. That pretty trim. Oh, here's another little flower. I love her when she throws these flowers in there because they're so fun and unique i don't know where she gets her flowers but they are so unique now i've seen this kind before but that other kind i hadn't seen i haven't seen this one either this was the one i was saying i hadn't seen okay so oh look at this pretty lace this looks like it's dyed it's a pinky nude gorgeous that would be a beautiful addition to a tassel as well. So with this, look how pretty that is. It's like a mauvey pink. Gorgeous. Watch this, look at this. Oh, that's gorgeous. You can cut out these medallions and use those separately. And then you have this flower and that little bit. So pretty, oh my gosh, I love this. It's like a tea dyed, but it's almost like a pinky nude tea dyed. It's interesting. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, I got it on the wrong side. Oh, I see what she did. She tea dyed it and then she brushes some of the um, like pink color on it on some of them. So that's cool. I love that. She added the pink on this one and I really like that. I wish she would have done it on all of them. But doesn't that a gorgeous lace? And then you have all this netting in between these pretty medallions. Yummers. Unreal. Okay, it's getting filled up here. All right, look at these two little mini laces. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at those. Oh, those are so adorable. Those would be so pretty as well in a tassel. And then look at this piece. There's that nude pinky beige. So pretty. And this one. Oh, these feel so yummy. Oh my gosh. Look how much. That is just some quality lace right there. You can just tell. They're just so pretty and soft, gorgeous. And then, oh, look at this one. This one's fun. It's a little dangle. So cute. Isn't that adorable? That is really cute. And last but not least, this gorgeous, like, 
guess it's like a wedding applique kind of sort of. But look, you got this medallion you could do. And you have this one. And you could cut them all out separately if you wanted to. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous as may as usual. Let me throw her little flowers over here. Throw these in there. And then this gorgeous taupe, oh, silky oh, ribbon. It's gorgeous. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my design team box. I look forward to what I can create with this. And I'll be back to make something. I'm not sure what I'm making yet, but I'm super excited. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.